Hello. Welcome to Mercy High School's Open House. We are so excited to have all of you here to learn about what a Mercy education has to offer your daughter. My name is Sandra Elgilda, and I am the Director of Admissions here at Mercy. I will um, be available at the end of the presentation. You'll hear from me a little bit later, but we are going to get started with one of our students, Jamie Fabula, for our opening prayer. I would like you to join me in prayer as we begin this afternoon. The prayer I will be using is from the foundress of the Sisters of Mercy, Catherine McCauley Souchepe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My God, I am yours for a time and eternity. Teach me to cast myself entirely into the arms of your loving providence. With the most lively, unlimited confidence in your compassionate, tender pity. Grant me, O most merciful Redeemer, that whatever you ordain or permit may be acceptable to me. Take from my heart all painful anxiety, suffer nothing to sadden me but sin, nothing to delight me from the hope of your coming to the possession of you, my God and my all, in your everlasting kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I would like to introduce our student body president, Katie Callagy. <laughs> Thank you so much. As Jamie previously stated, my name is Katie Calgi, and I am this year's student body president. I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you all here today and tell you how excited I am that you get a glimpse of the place that has changed my life and made me the person I am today. This might shock some people, but freshman year Katie Calgi was a little different than the one standing before you today. I was about two feet shorter and was a very timid and scared person who avoided the upperclassmen. Now, as a senior, I've become student body president and have made friends within every class. I also came into Mercy as an average volleyball player thinking I was not good enough. And as of last night, I've become a CCS champion. <laughs> there are too many examples of how Mercy has allowed me to become who I am today through the experiences they offer for every person in academics, athletics, arts, leadership, and even more. So I hope today, as you walk around the school, you look at all the activities that Mercy offers and envision yourself or your daughter here because we would love to have her. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me or any of the other students here today. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy our open house. Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Flaherty. I'm the director of mission and Catholic identity here at my Mercy High School. When we say mission, the Sisters of Mercy have handed on to us a particular mission on how to educate young women. So part of my job is to kind of make sure that continues to happen working with the board of directors and the faculty. When they asked me to present today, they didn't give me a lot of time. And the reason why is is because they want you to get you out into the classrooms and meeting the kids and the teachers. So what I need to do is I need to get to the heart of the matter really quickly. I have been at Mercy Burlingame for 30 years. I, have to, I know it sounds like a lot. I have actually taught at other high schools. This is an incredible school. But what I want to do is I want to tell you, having all that experience, what is the most important thing that I know about admissions and choosing a high school for your daughter? And this is what I know. Your daughter is currently standing on a precipice. And you might say, wow, that sounds a bit epic. That sounds a bit dramatic. Actually, it isn't. The next four years are the steepest developmental incline in a young woman's life. So much formation goes on during that time, and it really sets the direction for her future. So these next four years are very important. So that being said, 
what kind of high school do you need to be looking for? So this is what I would say to that question. You need to be looking for a high school where your daughter feels at home, where she feels she can be herself, and she can discover, continue to discover who she is. Why is that important? Like, why is that important? This is why it's important. These four years, what you're hoping for to be in an environment where your daughter will be, be comfortable enough to take risks, that she will stretch the current competencies that she already knows she has, but to, to move beyond those and to continue to stretch herself. She has gifts that you already know about, she already knows about, but she has other gifts that are meant still to be discovered. And so that's why the environment is seriously really important. Dr. Serigliano Brosman, in a, in a second, she's going to talk about the all girls advantage. Listen really carefully. That's really, really important current research. Let me tell you one other thing. So myself and the religion teachers and campus ministry team are going to be in room uh, 230. I know for some of you, discussions about religion are easy. And it, you know, it's very comfortable. I know for some of you, discussions about religion is not easy. And perhaps they make you a little uncomfortable. I want you to feel at home. I want you to feel comfortable coming and asking us whatever it is that is in your heart in relationship to being in a Catholic school. Your questions are welcome. The traditions that you have held in your family are welcomed and affirmed at this school. And more than anything, what we want you to hold in your heart is the exploration of faith in all of its forms is a viable part of this school, and we really honor all different faith traditions at Mercy Burlingame. Thank you so much for coming, room 230. We promise that we will not hold you hostage in there. We won't do anything weird, okay? So please come by, and uh, we welcome all your questions. And it is my honor now to introduce Dr. Sergiliano Brosnan. Hello, welcome. My name is Natalie Srigliano Brosnan. I am the head of school, and it is really my honor to be here speaking in front of you. Uh, I am completely biased that mercy is the greatest gift you can give any young woman, uh, but that bias does not have to do with me being head of school. It has to do with me being an alum of Mercy Burlingame. Um, I am a firm believer that I am who I am today because of my four years at Mercy High School. I know that I found my confidence and I found my voice at Mercy, and there is no greater gift my parents could have given me. I always knew there was something special about Mercy, but it wasn't until I came back as a head of school that I realized that universities actually research the difference between girls that go to all-girls schools and girls that go to co-ed schools. And there's something called the all-girls advantage. The data really supports that an all-girls education is the best education somebody can get. That girls who go to all-girls schools versus those that go to co-ed schools are six times more likely to explore the STEM careers three times more likely to major in engineering. Girls that go to co-ed schools have greater levels of self-confidence than those that go to co-ed schools. Girls that go to all-girls schools care more about their civic duty and tend to have greater leadership roles way after college. The facts are astounding that all-girls education matters. And when you root that in our Mercy mission, it is the most beautiful experience. And again, I know that from my experience. And the Mercy mission is all about treating everybody with compassion, respect, and dignity, and being hospitable and welcoming. I can't think of a more welcoming place, a better environment to spend four years. Before I go on, I want to ask our students, how many of you are in seventh grade? Can you raise your hand? Welcome. How many of you are eighth graders? Welcome. Any sixth graders? Welcome. Anybody younger than sixth grade getting a head start? Wonderful. <laughs> 
I've, I've seen third graders before, so <laughs> that's the youngest I've seen. The reason I ask this is I know that this is a lot to take in, but I really want you to think if you're seventh or eighth grade, because right now you're thinking the most about high school, I want you to realize that right now you're seventh or eighth grade. In four or five years, you're going to be getting ready to go off to college and living on your own. That time, like Miss Flaherty just said, is going to go by really fast. And so as you're picking this next school for your next journey, your next adventure, you want to pick that place that you're going to feel like you can be loved, you can be supported, you can thrive, you can try new experiences and explore the passions you already have. And I deeply believe that Mercy is that place for every young woman. At Mercy, we'd love to say you will be known, be challenged, and be transformed. I know from my experience, that was the truth, and I know as the head of school, it is our mission to bring that experience to everybody. We will know you by name. You will not get lost. Our school is not a big one. We will see you. We will see when you're struggling, and we will take care of you. We will see when you are thriving, and we will celebrate you. You will be challenged. You will be asked to push yourself a little bit deeper. You will be asked to try something that you've never tried before. And because of that, you will be transformed. You will truly turn into a completely different woman by the end of your four years that you never could have imagined for yourself. There is something magical that happens when you remove the boys from the classroom. And a, a student recently said something that it's not about the absence of the boy, it's about the presence of the girl. That when you remove the boys, suddenly we start to see young women raising their hands more asking more questions, participating more. And because of that experience, they feel seen. They want to challenge themselves, and they transform. We talk a lot about that at Mercy, but it's also important for us as a school. We want to know ourselves. We want to challenge ourselves, and we want to transform. My mom went to Mercy. I went to Mercy. We have students currently at Mercy. With every generation, the Mercy experience is the exact same, yet entirely different. It's the same because we never waver who we are and what our mission is and what our community is about. Again, respect and compassion. But it's entirely different. The experience my mom got in the 70s certainly was not the experience I got. And the experience our students today are getting is very different than the experience I got. And that's because it's so important that we meet the needs of every generation. So we want to know ourselves. We know that there are some people that believe a small all-girls school couldn't possibly have the same academic or athletic experiences as larger schools. That's ridiculous. We have an incredibly strong academic program where girls are in rigorous studies. We also have some amazing athletics. The amazing thing about a small all-girls school is that you can be in a very competitive team experience, like our volleyball team that our SBO president was talking about yesterday. They won the CCS championship, beating a number of our local teams and doing it in straight sets throughout the whole tournament, the only school to do so. But you also can try something you've never tried before because we make a point to have some non-cut sports, water polo, cross country, golf, lacrosse, Areas that you can go out and try things and find a new passion. We also always are looking to bring more to our students. And one thing that's incredibly important today is making sure our students know the world that they are entering. We know that girls continue to face some challenges despite tremendous gains. And so we've recently created a Pathways program, which we are incredibly excited to introduce, which will allow students to go down a path of biotechnology, engineering, creative arts and design, leadership education and development, global scholars, and women's studies. The goal of these is to really allow our students to dive deeper into an area that they're passionate about, but also to prepare them for the real world. We know that 8% of Fortune 500 companies' leaderships is women, only 8%. We also know that only 23% of CEOs at biotechnology companies are women. Of the three most visited museums in the world, the British Museum, the Louvre, and the Metropolitan Museum of Art, that all were established in the 1700s and 1800s that have centuries of leadership combined, not one of them has ever had a female leader. It is time for us to educate our students on how do they find that confidence, how do they find those voice in areas that have traditionally been underrepresented by women, areas that our students' voices are needed. And we are incredibly excited to offer this pathway program to our students. And in knowing ourselves, in knowing that we want to transform ourselves, 
we get to have that transformation as well. And that's something so unique to Mercy that we absolutely love continually seeing what our students need and meeting their needs. I want to acknowledge that I know the cost of a Mercy education is not cheap. I know that as parents, you are at that conversation with yourself right now, can we do this? I want you to know we want to work with you. If you are concerned with money, please reach out to us. Reach out to our admissions director. Talk to our financial, ask about our financial aid program. We want to invest in your daughters just as much as you want to invest in them. I remember I have a distinct memory of my mom and I in high school going on a walk, and she had just gotten off the phone with one of her friends whose daughter went to public school. And she was naming all the activities that my friend Kristen was doing. Uh, you know, she was playing the piano. She was on two traveling sports teams. She was in art class. And my mom told me that she felt guilty, that she could not... <laughs> She felt guilty that she couldn't give me those opportunities. And without missing a beat, I said, Mom, you pay tuition. She does it. If you didn't pay tuition, I could have all that. And I was somebody that wanted to do a lot. I wanted to be an ice skater. I wanted to play the flute for some random reason. Uh, I want to do all these different things. And I often reflect on that and think, OK, maybe I could have been an Olympian I I ice skater. Maybe I could have been an award-winning musician. But I know without a doubt that even with those accomplishments, I would never be the woman I am today without mercy. And I really want you to think on that, because I know the moms, the grandmas, the aunts, the, the friends that are female in this room, we know the world can be a little tough for us sometimes. But it was at mercy that I found my, my confidence and I found my voice. That when I was in college and I was in a situation where maybe it didn't seem so safe or it felt a little creepy, I knew how to get myself out of that situation. I knew when I was offered my first careers, how to negotiate my salary because women are often underpaid. I got that voice at Mercy. And when I had my first baby, my first week on this job, I didn't think twice about it because at Mercy, I was taught a woman can do anything and can be successful and you don't have to give one thing up to get another. I certainly hope that you will take time to explore Mercy and I hope as you walk around our hallways that you will get a sense of the community that we pride ourselves in one that is just a genuinely nice place and supportive that honors everybody and really steps up to meet you where you're at. I think that's the greatest thing I can say about Mercy. Mercy will meet you where you're at. If you're struggling a little bit, we're gonna hold your hand and get you up and get you along the path. If you're excelling, we're gonna help push you in that area. And despite where you are, we're gonna challenge you to push yourself a little bit more. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it and I hope that I will get the chance to know you in the hallway. I would like to, at this point, introduce our assistant head of school for academics, Art Walker. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mercy. As Dr. CB said, Mercy's academic program has something for everyone, whether you want to take a STEM route, whether you want to pursue creative arts and design, engineering, you want to take AP and honors classes, or if you're a student that needs a little extra help, Mercy truly is the place for you. We have over 40 AP and honors programs, but we also have a remarkable academic mentoring and educational support system as well. But the one thing that I want to say, actually two things, about our academic program is one, it's truly rooted in formation. As Ms. Flaherty said, the academic program is in alignment and in step with our critical concerns, making sure that we have graduates that are compelled by mercy, that are educationally courageous, inspired by faith, principled in leadership, and that they're a leading voice in dignity and respect. There are some amazing schools in our area, but none of those schools can give you what a Mercy education can give you as it relates to truly understanding your daughter, where she is, where she's going to be. So I Look forward to talking to you more about our academic programs. But 
the best people to talk about the academic programs you're going to get a chance to meet in a few minutes. And that's the wonderful faculty and staff that we have here at Mercy. So I encourage you to ask questions, to really make sure that you leave here fully informed about what we have to offer. And in the end, as you can see on the screen right here, 99% of our students are accepted into a four-year institution. While that's a great statistic, the one statistic that it doesn't say is that your girls will be formed in the right way. So I will be here today as well walking the halls. So if you have questions about specific academic programs, I encourage you to see me. And again, I want to welcome you to Mercy. And at this time, I want to introduce my counterpart, Ms. Jennifer Clifford the Assistant Head of School for Student Life. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Mercy. I'm so glad to see you all here today. At Mercy, we build community in a myriad of different ways. Our students develop a sense of belonging when they're working with one another on learning projects during our academic collaboration time, which is built into our schedule or several times a week in their advisory groups. Our advisory groups are small groups of girls that are paired with a teacher, and then they have those groups for their entire four years at Mercy. Um, this past week, we had a really wonderful potluck advisory lunch. So our, our students created and orchestrated beautiful spreads of food within their advisory groups. Girls, I have to tell you something. We love to eat at Mercy, and we do it all the time. So I just want to highlight that as well. We create a, a community through our spirit trips that go out on the weekends across the Bay Area to places like the Winchester Mystery House for a Halloween spooktacular, which we just went on, or to the Broadway musical Frozen at the Orpheum Theater, which is coming up on December 2nd. These are authentic uh, opportunities for our kids to meet some new kids and develop a sense of, of belonging here at Mercy. And then we have countless other activities, big and small, that are uh, created by or sponsored by our student activities office and our class councils and our student body officers and our clubs. There's always something going on at Mercy. I like to think of it as the, the city that never sleeps. Uh, if we don't offer something that your daughter or you are passionate about here at Mercy, then we have a pathway for you to create it here. At Mercy, we have over 40 different clubs, such as the Mercy Medical Club, Mercy Multicultural Club, uh, the uh, um, Mercy Media Club, and all of those clubs were created and chartered by our students, and we're adding new clubs on every single year. As far as leadership, uh, as far as leadership, uh, we have a leadership program that runs through everything that we do here at Mercy. We're dedicated to the development of future women leaders, and we see it as one of the greatest responsibilities that we have in the education of young women. At Mercy, we build a framework of learning experiences that give girls a foundation in the principles of leadership and then countless opportunities for them to apply those principles in leadership and action. Whereas many schools cultivate leadership through occasional programming or discrete workshops, leadership development, personal development is woven through everything that we do here at Mercy. And lastly, I'll, I just will mention our traditions here at Mercy. We are rich in tradition. And we celebrate those traditions regularly. When we have rallies out on that lawn here, I can tell you that they can hear us down in San Mateo. We really have school spirit. We've mastered the art of school spirit, and we, we practice our craft regularly. And in terms of uh, this is a, a good opportunity to highlight that as of last night, we raised the roof on Poly High School in Palo Alto because our uh, varsity volleyball team are the CCS champions. They swept uh, their entire pl playoff series so far, and we're waiting here any hour. I think with probably within the hour, we're going to figure out who our next competitor is 
and where we're going to play next in our, in our next playoff game. Uh, at Mercy, we have uh, over 24 athletics program, and I say around, well, around 24 because we actually meet our girls where they are on any given uh, year. If we have more interest in a given sport, we will add on freshmen or JV teams. And then as Dr. CB mentioned, we've got athletic teams that are a tryout sport and are, are very competitive on the postseason play, but we also have teams that girls can just join up with water polo or uh, cross country, golf, uh, tennis. Those are all uh, activities that girls are not required to try out for. So uh, we are very rich in our athletic uh, uh, life here at Mercy as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back to uh, Sandra, thank you. All right, so for the eighth graders that are here, if you have not yet signed up for a shadow day, we do have some available shadow days left in November and one in December. So if you are considering um, Mercy as your high school, a shadow day is required. So I encourage you to sign up for one of those days. Uh, early bird deadline for application if you are applying to the Ames program is December 2nd and our final application deadline will be on January 13th. I will be your uh, first point of contact. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I am here to help. I'd be happy to get to know you and your daughters more on a personal level. So please reach out with any questions that you may have. Before I let you guys go, um, I do have a short video, um, but before then, if you decide to take a guided tour, we'll have four tours. One will um, take off from the patio right over here. If you are in the black and white room and decide to take a guided tour, you can stay where you are. A tour will leave from there. Um, one tour will take off in front of the clock hall, and another one where the registration um, was going on. If you choose to explore on your own, we, of course, welcome that. If you're familiar with the campus, please make sure you do go down into our cafeteria where you'll, we have a beautiful uh, display of food done by our, ca our, our Mary in the cafe. And all of our clubs and athletic tables are downstairs in the cafe as well. So if, either on a guided tour or a self-guided tour, please, um, it is your opportunity to really take a look at the entire campus. Our... In, in Russell Hall, if you're familiar with Russell Hall, our library, Ames will have a presentation at 2 and 3 p.m. So you can go down if you're interested in learning more about the Ames program. Um, our library, our counseling department, and our math department are all at Russell Hall. Everything else will be in the mansion. Okay, so now we get to see it all in action. When I close my eyes When I close my eyes
if you are interested in learning more about financial aid, before you go off and explore, we will have a financial aid that's optional presentation uh, uh, directly following this presentation. Um, and your maps of our campus are on the back of your view books. So I will be here. If you have any questions for me, please find me. I'd be happy to answer and enjoy exploring.